The Field Mapping tab allows us to map any field in Act to any field in Outlook. Uh, in Outlook, you will see that there's no bolded fields, and we provide all the standard fields in Outlook for you to map to. So let's just do a, a simple mapping of a field. Um, we provide a, a standard set of mappings, which are basically your home address, your business address, fax numbers, first, last name, etc. So let's go down to the bottom here, and we have a, a user one field in Act that we don't map automatically. So we can just go down to the user one field in Outlook, and then say, okay, let's map it to Act. Now we've established a mapping between user one and user one in Outlook. We can do any mapping whatsoever. We can put user two. We can put it to telex number and then click on the button and put it there. So if we find a mapping that we don't like, for example, the, te the user 2 to telex number here, we just click on this button and the mapping just goes back or just gets erased from, from the mapping itself. Let's look, at, let's look at a couple of other fields. Here we have the custom ID. And in Outlook, there is a custom ID field. So basically, we first click on the left panel to select the field, second, the match, and then third, the arrow that will actually set the selection. Now we have an issue here. There is no customer discount number in Outlook. So we're just going to add a user defined field in Outlook that will be the custom uh, discount. So if we click on the Add button in Out, uh, Outlook uh, in, in the, on the synchronizer. Enter the name of the field, Customer Discount. It's a number, so we call it a number. We do Create. So what we've done now is created a Customer Discount field in Outlook. As you can see, the customer discount field is actually uh, bolded in the field reference on the left panel. So we select here and bring it over. So now we match the customer discount in Act to the customer discount in Outlook, therefore establishing a one-to-one -one relationship between the two fields. This is a user-defined field in Outlook, and this is a user-defined field in Act. Now just imagine that you already have contacts in Outlook that have customer defined fields that you want to match them over to Act. So in order to do that, we provided our Retrieve tool. You can click on Retrieve. It will tell you to pick a contacts folder. So we pick this contact folder over here. It lists the contacts. So only the contacts that have a field that has a value, it will show. So if you click on here, these fields have values on the contact. So you can select these fields, and then by clicking Add Outlook User Fields, all the fields are added to the user fields available in Outlook to map over to Act. So you have now retrieved uh, fields from Outlook that are user defined in Outlook and now are available as field in Act on the synchronizer. So some of these fields are no, of no use and you may decide to remove those fields as accessible fields. All you have to do is select the field, click on the remove button and that will uh, select, remove the, the field off the the selected or available fields in, in the synchronizer. You can also click at the top field, click at the bottom field, and then do a remove all the fields. And what it will do, it will only remove the user defined fields, and you'll have a clean slate to start with, and none of these fields will be available. One thing you, you notice is that even though you remove on available fields, these fields will not get removed from the mapping. In order to remove them from the mapping, just uh, click here and then unselect them from the mapping and that will remove the field from the mapping. 
Another nice feature on the mapping is if you just have uh, a, a fresh outlook with no custom fields like here, like we have here, and then uh, you just want to create user-defined fields without having to go through every single instantiation of Outlook, creating an Outlook and so on, you can just click on the, cust on the quick custom map and that will create a mapping of all the fields that you have in Act and create the user defined field the equivalent user defined fields in Outlook. So that way you can just basically just very quickly transfer all the user defined fields from Act and create user defined fields in Outlook for um, for the user. A few things about the quick uh, custom map. Uh, it will only uh, map fields that are empty. For example, if access level, if this field is empty, if this field is empty, it will actually create the the map and uh, fill it there. There are some exceptions, however, and those exceptions are the address fields because we process those fields for Outlook. We take address one, two, and three and process it into the Outlook address. So the quick custom map will not create fields for these but if there is a value on the field on the outlook field the quick custom map will not map a new field for it so it's pretty safe so so now you've been mapping fields and you start synchronizing on all hell breaks loose on the field mapping you don't know what where goes where even though you see it here and you want then to to resort to back to square zero. Uh, we provide a very easy way to do it. It's the reset field mapping to default. You click on that and all the defaults come back in there. And last but not least, you've been editing uh, the field mapping and for some reason you've found your way, you lost your way and you want to have a hard copy of it. We provide a nice little tool which is our field mapping for export. You click on the, on the button and we provide you with a table with the Act field, the Outlook field, and then uh, whether it's user defined in Outlook or not. Click on the Save a CSV file, call it Excel, let's call it Excel 24. I like it. Click Excel 24 and it will ask you, do you want to open this file? And you say yes. And what will happen then, it will show you where, give you an Excel where, what the field mapping is. So you can actually track the field mapping just using Excel uh, without even being in our software.